Hey, it's uh, Richards. As you know, there are four main aspects of tennis. Technique, fitness, uh, strategy, and psychology. But uh, unfortunately, psychology often is the least uh, taught aspect of all. Psychology is something more than just a phrase, come on, you can do it. Psychology is um, tennis player's dialogue with himself, and this dialogue directly impacts uh, players' performance, results, and uh, motivation. If you play competitive tennis and you play points during your practice sessions or wherever, and you have ever experienced uh, nervousness, uh, lack of concentration, and these factors uh, keep you away from playing your best tennis uh, when it matters the most, then this video course um, is exactly uh, what you need. I think Novak Djokovic uh, has uh, said it perfectly. He said that uh, tennis is a mental game. Everyone is fit, everyone hits great forehands and great backhands. And as you can see, he really emphasizes uh, the importance of the psychology. I want to share my uh, mental story, how I see tennis from the uh, psychological uh, perspective. To begin with, uh, we need to understand what is success. For me, uh, success is a journey, not a destination. It may sound like super... I don't know, smart or, or cliche or whatever, but uh, it's really uh, what success means to me. I believe that success, it's just a continuous uh, self-improvement and development. And it's uh, an ability to fully maximize uh, your own potential. Because every person has uh, own story uh, and own, uh, own goals. No one is uh, similar. We all have different backgrounds. The goal for Novak Djokovic is to win probably his like 10th uh, Australian Open the next year um, but maybe for some recreational player in some little local club somewhere in uh, I don't know Germany or America or whatever uh, the goal is just to be in to the top 10 of the year-end uh, club ranking right so goals are different and backgrounds are different for me tennis was uh, an accident I started playing, as I said, when I was seven years old, but uh, like my, my, my father was a handball player and my mother was an artistic gymnastic. Well, obviously, look at me. It's good that I didn't become an artistic gymnast. That's for sure. I ended up being a tennis player because like, it was really convenient for my parents to take me to the uh, tennis facilities. Not, it wasn't actually a facility. It was just a single court in a hotel. And I call it a health group. And I sp why health group? Because we were like six to eight people on one single court, just having fun, playing games from age uh, of seven till age of 12. I spent there uh, my, my beginning of the ter tennis career. So we didn't have any knowledge of tennis. We didn't know anything. How can you possibly become a pro? And what does it mean to become a pro? What it takes to become a pro? So... I believe that uh, Novak Djokovic probably knew. And if you read his book, he was seven years old and he said, like, I wanted to be world number one. Their uh, family made all the sacrifice and they had a clear goal. They probably knew what they were, uh, th what they needed to do in order to become uh, like a full time professional. Right. One of the three greatest players of all time, like Federer, Djokovic, Nadal. I think they all knew what they wanted from the early age but for most of us we kind of don't want don't know what we want i started to play seriously when i was like 15 right seriously like i started to take individual lessons i started to travel to tournaments etc reaching that atp ranking point i was pretty big right it's pretty huge achievement um but there are some people who start playing tennis at 30 35 40 for them also like winning 10th australian open is not their goal their goal is like, as I said, maybe being top 20 in their local club or qualifying for the year-end Christmas tournament, right? And their success is uh, reaching their goals. Djokovic's success is reaching his goal. Maybe Serena Williams' success, we know how successful she is by winning so 23 Grand Slam, th I think 23, but she's now... When I'm recording this, she's striving for, I think, for her uh, 24th. And probably she will feel successful only then if she reached that goal, you know. So it's all relative. Different goals, different stories. So 
we should all find our own success and we shouldn't compare uh, ourselves to different people right so i hope you get a point to explain even more uh what success in tennis means uh we need to understand that tennis is one of the most popular sports in the world it depends in which country the survey is made but normally uh tennis is uh, all, all in the all uh, parts of the world normally normally around top five king is soccer then it's athletics and then somewhere uh, always there's a tennis it has more than billion fans by fans i mean people who attend the tournaments who watch on tv who who watch on internet people who follow tennis more than 100 million active players i believe the number is even bigger it's just the number uh, which they were able to really uh, i don't know count i believe this number is even bigger but still 100 million active players it's it's quite a lot professional tournaments uh, are in more than 70 countries and tennis season professional tennis season it goes all year long there are no breaks from january till december all year long in more than 17 countries it's pretty impressive in professional tennis the, the competition is is immense it's crazy it's it's all the individual sports are tough but tennis probably is the toughest to start making real money to be in a profit by playing tennis every year around 3000 uh, men uh, compete for atp ranking points in those worldwide professional tournaments and at the moment there are only 1800 uh, male players in the atp ranking in the women's side it's a bit less around 2000 women compete on those professional tournaments and there are around 1500 women ranked inside wta ranking and only 100 best men and 100 best women are in a financial profit at the end of the season it just requires a lot of uh, a lot of money uh, a lot of investments in traveling in coaching roughly speaking you need fifty thousand to one hundred thousand dollars per year if you want to travel the full uh full schedule as of professional tennis players by playing 25 to 30 tournaments per uh, per year and only those uh, 100 best men and women are able like to to break even and be in a profit but for me success is not uh all about money all those people who are ranked atp or wta ranked they are great 2000 best people in the world in your profession you must be really good uh, for me it was my nhl or nba or whatever i felt good i felt that i belong so i encourage you as well like to find your own goals to set your own goals maybe a bit higher than you really think you're able to reach and go for them don't like underestimate yourself because tennis as you understood it's huge more than billion people really following tennis more than 100 millions playing and only 100 people make money so success is not a money success is uh, a journey success is ability to maximize your potential and success is reaching your own goals so why do we compete why do we uh, compete in tennis if we know that tennis is uh, such a tough sport to become a uh, professional and to make money out of it first of all tennis is a game first of all and last of all tennis is still a game there are much more uh serious things going on in the world right there are wars poverty and tennis is just a game we should make a big deal out of it it's important game for sure it's a very important game but games are supposed to be fun right it's like board games uh xbox tennis those games are there uh, to be enjoyed right as simple as that if you play tennis you have to enjoy it if you don't feel you're enjoying tennis then uh probably you should try to look for another hobby like deep down even if you feel like you're not enjoying it you enjoy it just look uh, from a perspective i just told you like there are far more crazy things going on in the world right now i think roger federer said it perfectly he said don't stress out about everything it is important to enjoy tennis and not to stress too much about every little detail. Well, Roger Federer, one of the all-time greatest players, he won 20 Grand Slams. He just came back from double knee surgery. He's turning 40 this year and he says it. Imagine how much stress he has gone through, how much stress he has handled in his life. And that's a nice, really simple, but I think really wise words from uh, Mr. Federer. It's just a game. 
Enjoy. Stress less.